Hey, what's up? It's Takumi here. Welcome back to my weekly vlog. Uh, this week, I've been working on improving the app launch speed. So I'd like to talk about it. And uh, uh, before before sharing my uh, development progress, I'd like to uh, talk about my English speaking uh, skill. I mean, I started this. I started this vlog uh, to practice speaking English. That worked pretty well. Uh, my English skill has been improved uh, significantly. This week, JS Legend Dev uh, left a great advice uh, about uh, public speaking uh, in the comments. Uh, so he said, uh, Hey Take, I hope you're doing well. I recently discovered a cool public speaking tip. It's better when speaking to remain silent than to say uh, or uh, to feel in the silence. Try forcing yourself when recording to not say or to and to just be silent instead when thinking about what to say next. Uh, you'll sound much better and look more confident when hearing back the recording. I, I definitely agree with him. Uh, so I tend to say uh, uh, mm, to feel the, in the silence uh, while thinking of what next to what to say next. Yeah, it's pretty hard uh, as a as an English learner. Uh, I also tend to say those words, those fillers uh, when speaking Japanese. So <laughs> it's my it's my bad habit. So I should fix fix this. Uh, yeah, so I try to I try not to say uh, those fillers uh, in this vlog. Uh, let's try it. Okay, so let's talk about Inkshop. Uh, I've been working on improving the app launch speed because uh, I found that VS Code uh, launches so fast, so fast, so faster than I thought. Uh, VS Code is built with Electron, as you may know, uh, Electron is a browser-based app uh, that can run uh, multiple platform, run, run on multiple platforms. Loading browser process tends to be slow, and the VS Code also uh, was slow to load in the early days. But I found that VS Code, the recent VS Code launches so fast. Uh, that blown me away. Uh, this opened up my eyes. Uh, I mean, my, my app uh, launches significantly slower than VS Code. So I need to improve that launch speed. VS Code only takes one second on my laptop. I, I'm, I'm recording the screen cast, so it takes longer than uh, usual, but it's so fast. So I wanted to improve my app as well. It takes uh, two seconds to finish launch at the moment. And uh, I managed to make it uh, five, 0.5 second or 0.7 second faster. I'm so I'm so happy to manage to do that. Is here and as you can see here is the result and before it takes like two seconds. Uh, it, I'm reloading redo, redo, the render process only renderer process so it's faster than the launching the app uh, from scratch but you can see the difference, right? You should be able to see the different difference. So it's significant, significantly faster now. Yeah, it's still slower. It's still a bit slower than VS Code, but I'm pretty happy with that. It's it's not acceptable, right? Uh, let's see. So I, I so I'd like to share how I did that, and uh, I analyzed. Uh, analyze the runtime performance with developer, pr developer tools uh, like this. So Electron 
support uh, displaying the developer tools like this. And uh, it has a performance tab. And when you click the record, uh, you can you can measure the runtime performance like so. And it can be used to analyze the uh, launch speed as well. So as you can see, uh, it takes uh, 200 milliseconds to load the uh, browser main.ts. So which takes too long to initialize the main uh, file. Uh, you can see uh, how to. You can learn how to use the developer tool to analyze the runtime performance here on this page. So please check it out. So there is a, a lot of room to improve the launch speed. Uh, the first, I drop. I tried to drop the bloated dependencies uh, because Inkdrop has a lot of dependencies and some of them are pretty huge so they affect the launch speed and i wanted to drop uh, those dependencies because when i started building uh, inkdrop uh, i borrowed a lot of core modules from the automedia automedia is uh, one of the popular popular editors uh, in the early days uh, along the, it's like uh, 10 years ago and uh, yeah, it's, it's so amazing and uh, I wanted to reuse the code but uh, it comes with, it came with uh, a bunch of dependencies that uh, the Atom editor relies on and uh, I, some of them are broad dependencies <laughs> and one of the biggest libraries was uh, CoffeeScript and uh, CoffeeScript is a uh, uh, one of the alternative JavaScript language. Uh, yeah, I, I mean o the one of the alternative uh, languages of JavaScript. Uh, so why why Inkdrop uses that is because uh, Inkdrop stores config files uh, in the CSON format. CSON is a coffee script version of J uh, JSON. It's a simple format, but uh, uh, only to load and save CSON files, uh, requiring CoffeeScript is uh, too much. And uh, CoffeeScript is uh, for development tools, so it, it is not designed to be bundled with, uh, into your desktop app. So it takes uh, a long time to load. So I wanted to drop it. Yeah, and uh, it improved uh, about uh, 200 milliseconds. Uh, that's great. Yes, and other, other big libraries are uh, Lodash and Underscore. As you may know, they are, <laughs> they are, they are, they are huge libraries and uh, that they, they provide a, a useful utility method. Uh, but uh, as JavaScript or ECMAScript, uh, it evolved uh, after after Lodash and uh, underscore were introduced. Uh, a lot of utility functions can be done uh, natively now, so so they can be replaced uh, with the native code, na native implementations. So uh, I did that. Then uh, there is a, a good guide <coughs> uh, on GitHub. Here. Uh, it's called you don't need Lodash and underscore. So you can you can copy and paste those codes, those code uh, to replace the utility utility functions. So for example, uh, Lodash is uh, equal function of Lodash takes about ten milliseconds. <laughs> and, uh, other one, uh, another one. Uh, it's a clone deep function takes uh, 12 milliseconds. So, so as you use Lodash functions, it some uh, uh, it will increase loading time like 10 milliseconds to 12, 12 seconds, 30 seconds. 
20 seconds and 30 seconds. So that's a huge, that affects a lot. So I, I managed to drop them. I'm happy to drop them. Yes. And uh, another one I did to improve the launch speed is drop, uh, no, uh, to defer loaning some libraries. So uh, some libraries are not necessary uh, on the app launch, so they can be deferred, like uh, like a plugins. Plugins are the biggest ones uh, to take uh, time. So. Plugins can be deferred to launch, uh, deferred to load, and that that improves uh, like a uh, hundred milliseconds. Or it de that depends on uh, how many plugins you insert, install. But uh, that that definitely uh, improves the launch speed. And last one is uh, last one is the improvement on the main process. Process. Uh, I mean. Electron starts, starts, every electron has a main process. And the main process, uh, main process can, main process creates a browser window, which is a Chromium based browser. And if that, that is uh, uh, what you currently seeing. Um, and uh, so, electron has to, initialize the main process before creating the browser window and the main process uh, takes needs needs some time to finish loading but uh, it can be it can be improved like uh, I decided to create a browser window before uh, initializing the main process that can be improved uh, like uh, 15 milliseconds and uh, that's that's uh, incredible yeah so now it takes only 1.5 seconds now so uh, so it's been improved uh, five 500 milliseconds to seven milliseconds it, it depends of course, it depends on your in, in environment, but I'm happy to uh, manage to do that. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. And uh, I hope it's helpful. Thank you for watching and have a productive day.